In the warmer months of the year, we find ourselves surrounded by insects of all shapes and sizes. But then the seasons change, a cold front moves in, and suddenly, they vanish. Where do they go? There's not one answer to this question, but instead there are several. Some species who can simply not handle the cold temperatures will migrate south. The best example or most well-known example of this is the monarch butterfly. In the fall of each year, thousands of monarch butterflies migrate to Mexico, where they will spend the winter in the warmer climate. However, not all species are capable of migrating and therefore have resorted to alternative solutions, such as the praying mantis. Many praying mantis die right after mating, however, if there are any left over, they are killed with the first frost of the year. If any somehow miraculously survive the first frost, they will then die of old age before the spring. Therefore, the continuation of this species relies solely on the eggs that are laid in the fall. These eggs are laid in a protective casing that will allow the eggs to survive the entire winter and then hatch when the weather becomes warmer in the spring. Other insect species, such as ladybugs, will simply hide under rocks, bark, leaves, or anything that they can get under. Once they have found their well-protected place, they'll begin their hibernation. These ants are a good example of a species that will burrow underground below the frost line and then remain inactive throughout the remainder of the winter. Some insects, such as some beetles and tick species, have evolved to have antifreeze proteins within their blood. This slows the growth of ice crystals within their bodies and allows them to live at a much colder temperature. As a new YouTube channel, it would mean a lot to me if you would subscribe. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.